So guys, of course we have other type of refrigerants. Actually, we, this one is the most common one, but of course not the only one. We will be seeing or analyzing other type of refrigerants. And I don't want you to learn them by name or by shape, but I do want you to know that how they change the shape, what does that big size belt means, how can we choose from one another, the height of the critical point, and many other concepts which you will be using, you will be getting uh, along with. Probably look at this shape here, or this one shape is a little bit more acute, or this one right here is actually very similar. And from 12, look, this is very, very long one. And of course, it has to do something with the scales, but in general, what I want you to know is these lines, how they move. Some refrigerants are very, uh, require more energy to change these lines, these saturation lines, this energy change. Actually, I wanted to ask you what is the enthalpy needed to boil completely that? Is this difference? Of course, you need to give a specific value, let's say this value here. Or what else? Mm, I could tell you if I wanted a very high critical point, well, you have them here. If I give you these four diagrams, you will need to get those critical points. And so on, guys. You may find everything if you wanted to check which one changes the less volume when you have these 100 Fahrenheit and I don't know, maybe 2 mega pascals. What will be the best case? Well, you, you can check this in the diagrams and uh, get the best refrigerant. You may also check the entropy changes. You know, the, you don't want to get that much entropy in your system and so on, guys. There are many, many type of refrigerants out there. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.